Hey guys, and welcome to another edition of Birth and Borders. And I told you every time that I hear some transfer news, I'll be letting you guys know. And so today I'm going to be talking about a striker that we've been linked with who is no longer coming to the club. So guys, this is going to be my second upload for today. I just uploaded a, a video um, with our content creators celebrating our Champions League victory. So I hope you enjoy that one. Or if you haven't watched it yet, give it, a, give it a watch. But I've got some news and it's not good if you're Lukaku fans or for those who are looking for a new striker or not striker search for Chelsea at Chelsea because you know what? Lukaku has now confirmed that he's staying at Inter Milan this season. He said he's had positive talks with the new manager in Zaghi and he's happy at Inter Milan. He's settled there in financially. Sure you Siri, you don't understand? What? I'm making it clear. How clear can I be? Lukaku is staying at Inter. Okay. I hope you guys understand it, because Siri obviously doesn't understand. But yeah, so he said that he's had some positive talks. He said the money is good and he, he loves living in Milan. So he's someone who Chelsea has been heavily linked with. Um, um, if reports were to be believed, it said that Roman Abramovich has been at the personal interest and he was getting involved in this particular transfer. So um, that's one where we can just uh, strike off our list. So that just leaves two. Um, that leaves Haaland and um, Kane, which are very difficult. So I don't know, we may have to stick with what we've got or go in for a lower tier striker. Lewandowski is an interesting one because he says he wants to try a new country. That's the last I heard yesterday. He said he, he wants to explore a different culture. But um, if obviously Manchester City are after a striker as well, so you know. It's 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 um, Chelsea and Man City are going to be not go only have gone head to head in the Champions League that they'll probably go head to head in this search for a new striker as well. Um, Kane, I, I can't you know I, I can't see that one happening. I keep saying that, but you know stranger things have happened. Um, Haaland, um, apparently, um, an interesting news from ha um, from Dortmund. They said they yeah, want to keep him, but if a insane offer comes in for him, they may consider it. So um, we're looking at probably 140, 150 for Haaland. So is Chelsea, are Chelsea going to go all out for him? He was their first choice anyway, from what I was hearing. So um, there may be some more developments on that side as well. So we'll have to wait and see. So guys, just a quick one, just a quick update on, on the news because this is just broke about 20 minutes ago. So I thought I'll just make a video as this news has just come out. So guys, what do you think about that? Are you upset that we aren't getting um, Lukaku or didn't you not, did you not want him in the first place? Are you okay with that? Um, would you, if we can't get one of the other two, would you just settle for what we have or do you still think we need to get somebody in? If we can't get those three people that's on the list, name, give, give us an alternative. See, you know, uh, you know, we need to do some clever scouting at times as well. So who would you like? If you were a scout of Chelsea, who do you recommend for Chelsea for that, to fill that goal scoring spot? Just let me know in the comment section. So that's it guys. I'll take care and I'll see you later.